Welcome to Project 52. My name is Danny Ray. We're doing 52 videos in 52 days. It's been a crazy journey. This is video number 41. So I want to share a little bit of a journey that I've had with the Magic Castle. I got a call three days ago and they said, hey, we've had a cancellation. Can you fill in starting Monday for seven days, 28 shows? It's going to be a crazy journey. I'm doing five shows this week and possibly six. I'll do 28 shows next week week at the Magic Castle. Here's what I want to challenge you with today is think about this for a second. I'm 15 years old. I've dreamt about doing magic um, all over the world. I've dreamt about performing at the Magic Castle. So I put together a show. I auditioned for the Magic Castle and I get a letter from them saying, Danny, thank you for applying at the Magic Castle. We can't accept um, your um, admission to to our club based on your performance you know keep practicing we wish you the best of luck and at 15 years old my little heart was crushed right but here's here's the thing is I kept working on it I kept practicing I kept developing and then about eight years later I would go back and perform audition again and that time I did make it into the magic castle and then two years after that I auditioned to perform in their world famous close-up room which if you ever get a chance to go to the Magic Castle like it's my favorite room at the Magic Castle I love that room I performed there 14 times actually this week will be my 14th time I know that because there was another dream I had the first time I ever performed at the Magic Castle you perform there for seven days four shows a night in the first time I performed there I was on night number six and I got a call from my wife saying, this baby, she was pregnant, this baby is coming out tonight. And so I left one dream of performing at the Magic Castle, turned around, called the entertainment director and said, I'm not gonna be able to make it tonight. And he knew that there was a possibility that my wife would have a baby that, during that week. And so I left one dream of performing at the Magic Castle to pursue another dream of being with my wife, seeing my child be born. And so you just never know how, how God's going to use you when you're, when you're like, hey, this is my dream. Let me say this, God always has bigger dreams for you than you have for yourself. He's been dreaming about your life before creation, right? It talks about him thinking about us and dreaming about us, ab about who we would be. And so I try to live into my purpose that he's designed me to be, knowing that his dreams are always bigger than my dreams. Let me tell you another like story uh, of success and failure and struggle. At 18 years old, I met a world famous magician and I was so excited about performing for him, did this thing and he's like, hey, I'm going around the world. I leave in two weeks. I'm gonna start out in Vegas, go to New York, then go to Europe. I want you to go with me. And I was like, this is my dream come true. I started doing magic when I was 10 years old. Now I have an opportunity at 18 years old to go around the world doing what I love. And so I, the difference, let me say the difference was this. At 17 years old, I gave my life to Christ. I started following Jesus and submitting my life to him daily. And so I, I put this, I didn't tell him yes. I said, let me get back to you. I prayed about it and felt like God was saying, no, I don't want you to do this. And I was like, okay. Um, so I called this guy up told him, no, I can't do this. And I, in one area, I was like, this is like my dream being crushed. But then I knew like God has something better in store. At, at that time, I got involved in youth ministry. I volunteered for five years. And then I was a youth pastor for another five years. In about nine years, I was about 27 years old. I was at the gym on a, uh, let's just say a machine. I was on a machine. It was a Stairmaster. All right. So I'm on this um, Stairmaster, right? And there's this magazine and I'm flipping through it. And there's this article about this guy that I had met 10 years ago. And I was all excited about reading it, it, but here's what I found out. He was up for all of these fraudulent charges for taking college students around the world. He would rack up their visas, and then when they ran out of money, he would leave them stranded around the world. Like 100% that would have been me had I not listened to God's voice. 
right? Had I not listened and said, okay, God, I want to be obedient to you in putting my dream on hold to do youth ministry, and then God changed my heart in youth ministry and gave me a heart for people, a heart for students, so that when he would open up the doors to do the ministry I'm now doing of sharing God's word and the illusions, I would be prepared to do both. And so I really became convicted about this when I read Romans 11.29. In Romans 11.29, it says this. It says, God's gifts and his calling are irrevocable. So God's gifts and his calling, right? I knew I was called to share God's word with people, and I knew I had this gift to slide a hand, right? I... I believe that in putting those two things together, I was right where God needed me to be. And I believe that when you put those two things together, your calling and your gifting, and those aren't separate, but those are tied together, you're going to be right where God needs you to be to be most effective for Him. So I hope this story inspires you. I hope that you do the things that God's called you to do. Thank you for watching. If you're liking these videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. These are the things you find backstage at a church. A Darth Vader hat. I feel like I should put this thing on. Oh my goodness. You definitely don't want to put this on. I don't know if you could hear me or not. That's it. Bye. Oh, my head, it popped off. Okay.